Tennessee, 17 to 12. Woodson throws into the middle to Tammy, across the 50, breaks a tackle, near side, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and knocked down at the Tennessee 17-yard line. That a boy, Jacob. Boy, what a game he's had. The game of his life. Here's Woodson, looking for the screen, doesn't have it, throwing deep, far sideline, he's got a man! Jacob Tammy spins and goes in! can't go from the ultimate challenge, the ultimate competition, and then sit around. The farming is a type of challenge that, that I needed, and so to spend a lot of time out there those first couple years was really, really big. This farm has been in my family since 1910. The first Tammies that came to this country on the ship's record, their occupation is farmer. I mean, they, we've been raising cattle in this country and, and specifically right here, you know, almost for 110 years. So it's in my blood and we feel real fortunate to get to help carry on that, that legacy and that tradition. Is that her? The lessons I learned early on as a kid on the farm translated into athletics and, and, and how I started to learn how what hard work was, what pushing yourself was, what finding that next gear, that next level that most people can't find. My dream was to play football for Kentucky one day. I never thought once about playing in the NFL. I didn't really ever focus on it uh, until uh, I do remember one phone call I got was from our sports information director at Kentucky. It was after my junior season. He told me I'd been named first team all SEC. And I remember thinking at that moment that I've got a chance to play in the NFL. And, and you know, things kind of changed from that point forward. Four down lineman, blitz coming. Woodson throws over the middle. Touchdown, Kentucky! It's Jacob Tanny. I'm real fortunate that I got to go to Kentucky and live out that part of my dream and to have been able to go on past that and, and play professionally for as long as I did and be a part of so many fun things and great teams. But, but it really was one step at a time to get there. Mm. I like it. When you leave football, when you're done, you got to go a thousand miles an hour in another direction. That The farm was a great, uh, great opportunity for me to do that and a great challenge and one thing about about the ag and about the farm world oh, is and you know, it's not a secret a lot of folks struggle uh, there's emotional struggles and psychological struggles that come along with with farming and you know i really encourage folks to keep that sense of community built up around them because you know, that's the one thing i missed about the nfl and it's the one thing that lacks for a lot of folks out in the ag world and in, the, and in farming communities is spending a lot of time by yourself in a lot of cases and so you know that sense of community i think is really key and important and really keeping a close knit group of friends that people can lean on so i know it's been important for me my faith informs me that I'm not the most important thing going on. Uh, just kind of trying to stay steady and keep the faith through, through the good times and the bad times and, and try to stay others focused is, is something that, you know, I feel like uh, the Lord's put on my heart. She's my preschool sweetheart. We, uh, <laughs> we went to preschool together, actually, so. She's been with me from the beginning. We didn't date in preschool, but uh, we say we kind of had a crush on everyone else. And then by high school, it was like, oh man, she's pretty. She was like, yeah, he's okay. We, uh, we got married right before my last year at Kentucky. So she was able, we experienced that, that last uh, fun season together and then went on this NFL journey and uh, now back home. And uh, to be able to raise our kids here uh, on the farm with their grandparents nearby, you know, in a community that we love. Kentucky has always meant just a ton to us. Everywhere we played, we, we loved. We loved Denver. There's other little small towns we love around around this country that we've been able to travel to and visit and have friends there. And, and any of them would be fine places to live, but there's something special about this place to us. It holds a special place in our heart, just you know, obviously our family history here, and also just the folks that we've, we've forged relationships with over time. And we love our community and we love this area. And uh, you know, we wanna be a part of it forever.